Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create calculated columns and calculated fields within the tables shown in the Power Pivot data model to create values within a table, which you can then add to pivot tables and pivot charts. This is one of the primary reasons to use Power Pivot add ins versus the standard pivot tables within Excel. There are many different types of formulas that are available within the Power Pivot data model that allow you to calculate values of the existing columns within a table. Note that these formulas are not always exactly the same as the standard workbook formulas used within Excel. These formulas are called DAX formulas and sometimes use a slightly different function and syntax to calculate values that normal Excel functions use. However, the syntaxes are very similar. Excel will assist you in creating the DAX formulas and calculated columns and fields so that you won't need to worry about the syntax of the formulas that you create. You create calculated columns within a table to create a column value that you can then summarize within the pivot chart or pivot table within the values section. So for example, if you had both a quantity and unit price field, within an order details table, you could create a new calculated column that would display the results of the product of these two columns as an order total calculated column. You could then add this column to the values section of a pivot chart or pivot table to find the sum of order totals for a given grouping. Other uses for a calculated column would be to derive a new column that you can use in the row or columns sections within a pivot table or pivot chart. So for example, if you had the order date field within an orders table, but wanted to group the results based on the quarter of the year in which the order was placed, you could create a calculated column within the table that would display the quarter of the year for each associated order date value. You could then add this newly created column into the desired section within a pivot chart or pivot table to be able to group by the values returned by this calculated column. To create a calculated column in a table within the Power Pivot data model, first select the tab of the table within the data model window. Then click into the topmost cell within the Add Column column that appears at the far right end of the table. You can then enter the formula that you want the column to calculate into the selected field. Note that for formulas that you enter by hand, the formula is displayed within the formula bar. You start by entering the equal sign, followed by the field names enclosed in brackets joined together by the standard mathematical operators. Note that you can also simply click on the field names of the fields within the table to add a field reference to the formula that you enter. Then simply click the check mark button in the formula bar or press the enter key on your keyboard to accept the formula. Note that you can also create a formula that uses a function by clicking the insert function button that appears within the calculations button group on the design tab within the ribbon of the power pivot window. That will open the insert function dialog box. This dialog box shows the functions that you can insert. You can select a function within this listing to see the function and any additional arguments that the function requires shown at the bottom of the dialog box. Select a function to use for the formula from the listing shown and then click the OK button to insert it into the formula bar. You can then finish entering the additional arguments that the function requires within the formula bar. Then simply click the check mark button in the formula bar or press the enter key on your keyboard to accept the formula. You can also create a calculated field called a measure in Power Pivot for Excel 2010 to display information within the value section of a pivot chart or pivot table 
that is more complex than the usual functions allow. Normally, the values of a selected column are calculated using the sum function or other aggregate function within the values section of a pivot table or pivot chart. This is what is called an implicit calculated field within a pivot chart or pivot table. However, these types of fields within the normal pivot tables and pivot charts are limited to performing one aggregate function, such as sum, on the field that is placed into the values section. Using Power Pivot, you can create an explicit calculated field that is derived from the values within table columns, which you can then add to the values section within a pivot table or pivot chart. For example, if you wanted to display a field within the values section that was the sum of the order total column within a table with a 10% increase to its value as a fiscal projection, you would need to create that field as an explicit calculated field within the data model window of Power Pivot. The formula would look something like this. So to create a calculated field within the Power Pivot data model window, you click into the upper left cell within the calculation area that's shown at the bottom of the data view. Now note that you can select any cell within the calculation if desired. Some people like to place the calculated fields at the bottom of the columns to which the aggregate calculated field refers. Once you've selected a cell within this area, you can then enter a formula for the calculated field and press the Enter key on your keyboard when finished. Note that if you want to rename the field, you can select the text within the formula bar that appears before the colon symbol and then type a new name for the field. Now once again, you would click the check mark button in the formula bar or press the enter key on your keyboard to set the name of the field when you're finished. Now if you prefer, you can simply type the name to give to the projected calculated field into the formula as you enter it. So using the previous example, you could name the field projected increase by entering the following into the formula bar for the selected cell. Projected increase colon equals sum then in brackets the column name asterisk for multiplication 1.10. Also note that you can use the insert function button within the calculations button group on the design tab of the ribbon to insert a function versus typing one manually if needed. Once the calculated field has been created it can then be used within the associated pivot tables and pivot charts in the workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.